Shalom, Aras Tafari. Once again, in there, Aras Yadinos Tafari Nain. I am Ras Adonis Tafari, otherwise known to the Brotherhood of His Majesty as Wendem Yadom. And once again, we highly encourage this particular, this particular um, parallel Bible, the, or as the the Mesmur Dawit. The Mesmur Dawit is the Ethiopic and the Royal Amharic Psalms of David. So we've recently published this particular version, and what reminded I and I is in our. Samantawi uh, Senbet or Rita Nebab, or the Torah portion, readings and feedings. That, in addition to the sabbatical, you see the the opening of our understanding or overstanding in the scriptures is vital and is vitally important. And as we've been mentioning. It's that discipline of the mind, discipleship of the mind, and it begins with remembering the mental ascent of remembering the sin that and keeping it yetekedese, keeping it set apart or keeping it holy. But the root of holy is set apart. Now, in the appendix section of the revised and updated uh, Sabbath house reading. And you can go to www.lojsociety.org and you can download for free both this document and the Hebraic Judaic Year. The Hebraic Judaic Year. You'll find both those documents available for free on our website, www.lojsociety.org. And we highly encourage that you download. This is the updated one. See if you've if you've downloaded it previously, this is the 2011 to uh, 2012 update. And it's a 13-page document. And the second, there's two documents. The second document is the Hebraic Judaic Year. The Hebraic Judaic Year. One to ask certain questions about how do we know when to begin reading, like which particular sabbatical or Shabbat Torah portion, which particular Sen Betawi or sabbatical. And right now we're in the ninth sabbatical. This particular week we're going to the tenth. Now, during this particular time we have the Hanukkah, the Hanukkah. So we have our, our holy days, and there's also some teachings online, not a downloadable, ones can save the page or print out the page where we speak about our holy days, our holy days. And all this is part of the al the the holy covenant, which our ancestors went astray in. And, and this is what caused this generational curse that some may call slavery, the transatlantic slave trade, more correctly, the trans-Ethiopic ocean slave trade of we, the Ethiopian Hebrew people, or the Beta Israel, that remnant. And that's all part of the prophecy of the word and of the scripture, and is fulfilled in we as so-called black people, as colored, all these other sort of bywords and niggers and negroes, so forth and so on. But really the root of the truth is that we as the black Hebrews, as the Beta Israel, as the Ethiopian Hebrews, and the Lect Arasafari, we're identified already within that scripture, within that prophecy. This is 400 plus years, 400 plus years. But what do we need to do to come out of this? The first thing we need to do is to have a change of mind. The word teaches us repent. But repent in its very root and core, it means to think differently, to think differently. And this is one thing I keep, when I say think differently, some of you probably would think, oh, Steve Jobs. Well, that's one thing he had correct, because when you look at the word metanoia or metanao, which is the koina, the Greek word for um repentance as translated off as repentance and this is what we do as well you start to then go behind the King James Version and whether you go to the Septuagint in the New Testament or you go to the Masoretic 
or if you're on the level to go to the Met of Caduce of His Majesty, and even when you start to compare the root words, you really start to see the 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 inner sense. You see, and this helps us in our discipline of mind, and 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 of that of that spiritual strength and that spiritual power that we need to be overcomers, my brothers and sisters. So the Sabbath and remembering the Sabbath, Exodus chapter 20, verses 8 to 11, is dealing with the Sabbath. But it begins with the remembrance, you see? And that's where Adonai Yeshua HaMoshiach, he pointed out the hypocrisy among the so-called religious authorities of his time, the scribes and the Pharisees, who try to say he was a Sabbath breaker, a Sabbath violator. But he is truth, a Sabbath keeper. You understand? Because he overstood Christ, the, the Messiah, our black Lord and Savior. He understood the true innocence, you understand, of what the Sabbath was about. It is to remember the Sabbath day, to keep it set apart. You understand? And to stop all one's occupational labor. But even as Christ said, the priests in the tabernacle, even though they concern themselves with Adonai's things, the Lord's things, the Master's things, are they still doing the same work that they will be doing the other days? But they're exempt from that. That's when one is in a, one could say, almost a perpetual uh, Sabbath or a perpetual work. But on the Sabbath day, it is not a violation. You see what I'm saying? And that is to do good. And that's what Christ did. You know, was saying, and he showed us that example. So we, so it's, it's about both reading and comprehending. That's a, that's a big key in discipleship. To, to, to find the truth, as his majesty teaches us, to find the truth for oneself. You know, was, but do not to be foolish or doolish or, or careless. Because remember the truth, you know, no scriptures of a private interpretation. No scripture can be just interpreted in a private manner. And this does not mean that people don't have their own ways of seeing things. But every scripture is connected with other scripture because it is a fullness to it. And this is why the Torah portion readings and feedings are so essential. And we thought to do these series of videos and touch on certain aspects of the Sabbath as well as to introduce the update. This is the updated um, Sabbath house readings because these Sabbath house readings, there's certain nuances, certain corrections, other things that had to be made so that it aligns both the Hebraic Masoretic aligns in that sense with His Majesty's Bible, the key distinctive word. The, 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 each Sabbath has a name. Each particular Sabbath not has a name, but has a reading, and therefore there's a distinctive word. So in our footnotes, we touch on some of the amendments and even where certain errors were made and the reasons why these errors were made as well. So that our brothers and sisters, so we are growing in that sense together. Now, so... Once one's able to download those two documents, namely uh, Sabbath House Readings and the Hebraic Judaic Year, take a look at our holy days because we have to redeem the time. You understand? And we have to recognize what time it is to. You understand? To, to, to count the days, to really recognize what's the true, what, what is John's true cycle. You know? And this is what, I mean, there's, there's a whole revelation within that. You understand, and it's the barakat, the blessing. You understand, so discipleship begins with that discipline of the mind, brothers and sisters. And the Sabbath is that key time and opportunity to rest from one's occupational labor and to remember, take that mental, spiritual ascent, as well as to spend time in the Torah portion, readings and feedings, in addition to the Psalms. Now, this is what we want to kind of touch on the psalm. So um, we are happy that we got an opportunity to update this and the Holy Spirit pointed out certain corrections in the former version of it. And we note every significant place where we had to make 
or felt it necessary to make an amendment or a correction. But when you get into the appendix and the overflow pages, um, there, there are two overflow pages, right, which are not part of the Sabbath house readings, but were thought necessary in the fullness of our kedase or our uh, liturgy, in the sense of the sacred, is part of a sacred liturgy or kedase. Now, this will be the wood dase. Now, the wood dase concerns the praises. And in Mesmur Dawit, we give, a, as you can see, we give a, a page here. This is one of the appendix, the overflow pages. And we have um, added additional information based on the questions and the reasonings over the past. Um, this will be the second, third, my third year that regularly we have been um, uh, teaching, reading, feeding, sharing um, the Torah portion readings and feedings um, through the YouTube site and other um, fellowship, other fellows and brothers and others who have posted and reposted these videos elsewhere. So um, this is the third year. Now, after that third year, certain questions and certain answers have become clearer about what ones have asked us questions about, such as when do we begin the sabbatical Torah portion of readings and feedings? Well, it begins on Simchat Torah, and we touch on Simchat Torah in here within this Ethiopic sense. And then we go to this page, and like we said, I think we have to put the page numbers on here, but hopefully by the time we post this up there, we would have worked out like the page numbers. But still, this is the new one. Get ready for the 2012. This is helping us to get ready for 2012 to be in, in the right spiritual heavens. So the Simchat Torah, the Orit Desita, the joy of the law, or it's also known as the uh, Fisha. Fisha Orit, or the joy, the Fisha, the Fisha Orit, the joy, that's from more of a good is. While wow. Orit, that's the top, more Amharic, and then we have Simchat Torah, Simchat Torah, which is the joy of the Torah. So that occurred within this cycle on October, what was it, October 21st, 22nd. And so that means that's where we began with. Uh, Genesis or Bereshit or Barasit, the Mejameria, Bamarinya. That's the first uh, reading and feeding. And here in this, you'll come across at the end of the 54 portions, there's like important notes to consider. There's an important notes to consider section. That kind of goes into explaining a little bit more about it, but perhaps we need to go through a teaching. So ones can read through this, either the, through the contacts, and, um, you know, the harvest is ready, but the labors are few. And this is when we, we are praying and also um, preparing laborers and co-laborers, but discipleship is that first level because it helps with the discipline and the basic knowledge of the scriptures, opening our understanding of the scriptures. And we can do a whole... Uh, lecture and sermon on how Christ taught how it was so important to know the scriptures and the scriptures in the time of Christ was the Old Testament and was Orit and Torah. So it's very important for us to have a knowledge of that and also be familiar with the content and in a more um, spiritual state, you know, iritical state, once we begin to see the reflection of things within the real world, once One's spiritual eyes will become one. It says, make your eye one in that light. That illumination will show ones and ones, the true Rastafari, the elect Rastafari, but the Israelite foundation. You see, the Israelite, the Beta Israel is a foundation, even for holy Ethiopia. You understand? Um, now, with that being said, let us uh, just go back to this right. So here, the last overflow page, it talks about how and the importance of the Psalms of David. And at the uh, time that we did the first one, we didn't have 
um, a parallel Bible, um, the Psalms of David, known in Ethiopic as the Mesmer Dawit. This is the parallel Bible version containing in one volume both the 1611 English KJV, King James Version, and the Ethiopian King of Kings, 1961 A.D. Amharic text, which is originally published by, and this is Moa Andesa, the Emma Negeda Yehuda, you understand? by the conquered line of the tribe of Judah, Kadamawi Hala Salase, Siyume Xiavieha, Negusa Neges, Za Ethiopia. And so this is a parallel Bible. So, like we said, one column English, one column the Royal Amharic, and then there's footnotes. We, we, we labored in going over the revision, we labored to put in certain key footnotes, even dealing with certain subject matters like the Selah. Many ones have much to say on what Selah means or, or are curious about the Selah that's found within the King James Version of the Bible, as well as the fact that there are five books of Psalms. Though it's Mesmur Dawit or the Mesmur, the Mesmure, the the spiritual songs of the beloved. This is our Idase and our Widase. This is our praise. The Psalms of David are very, very important because even the scriptures teach that David was a man after Yahweh's own heart. So the Psalms of David is like the is like the heart of the Most High. You understand? Know this is what it means when it talks about godliness, resembling God, not just on a a, a, a pseudo outer kind of abstraction, but on the innocence of the Word, the Word becoming flesh, of us conforming to the Word in in word and in deed. So anyway. This, you know, we could go on, on on this particular subject matter, but we want to encourage ones. And this is not just because I and I, I, and I publish this. You know, and we think that, and we know that those who are able to take the time to study it will see the value in it. And this is part of some of the discipleship materials, the basic materials, because Psalms, the Psalms play a very, very important role. And even if one is still at that kindergarten level of Amarinya and Haric literacy. Don't give up. You know what I'm saying? Keep the faith. You understand? Kespek S, little by little, my brothers and sisters. And we have some new works coming forward on the on the uh, Amharic Bible homeschooling. There's there's a there's a new um, companion to the CD booklet that's coming out. We thought it necessary to revise that and and update that the Almighty has been very gracious and merciful to us and and through the interaction and interactiveness between brothers and sisters and, and ones communicating and us able to, to get that feed forward from the community. Um that has helped us identify certain areas to minister to. So this is one of the works that answers to some of the key inquiries and needs of the Rastafari community, especially with Psalms of David. So this is in one book, the Amharic and the English, in this particular parallel Bible. And one can go to the www.lojsociety.com org forward slash books or click on the books link but do not forget my brothers and sisters to download some of the free materials such as the the um well it, translated people will say weekly but we don't call it an arastafari a weekend you see um being in the world and being of the world that weakens you but remembering the Sabbath to keep it holy, to keep it set apart, and from Friday in, at, at sundown to Saturday at sundown is, is, is a holy set-apart time. So redeem that time because the days are evil, brothers and sisters, and don't allow oneself to be caught up in the worldly so-called weekend. Overstand, weekend, they want to weaken you. 
and I Rastafari, and I keep the Shabbat, and I remember the Sabbath or the Sunday to keep it yet to keep it set apart and holy. So this is a free wear. This is this is this is a, a free um, study. You know, it's a study wear. It's called the Sabbath House Reading. Also download the Hebraic Judaic Year. These are PDFs. Hopefully one, this is like 13 pages. The other one is about uh, seven pages. So one can use on their computer, mobile device, or smartphone, so forth and so on. And when one gets an opportunity to that, those are, those are two updated um, free wares that are necessary in this time from 2011 going out as we're coming into this so-called quote, New Year, um, 2012, we can be spiritually um, prepared to uh, not be overcome by this world, but to be overcomers, to keep the commandment of the King of Kings and the testimony of his Christ. So check that out, download that, and as one is able to, please get a copy of the Mesmura Dawit or the Amharic Psalms of David and the English KJV. Get this, you can go to our website and um, purchase a copy of this. This is, might be an investment for some, and we'll try to work with different ones or communities, so forth and so on, of brothers and sisters or schools or other institutions of whether spiritual or religious or, or learning that requires any of the books or materials, whether retail or wholesale, just just reason with I and I and we'll pray on it and try to work something out. But my brothers and sisters, seek to get a copy of this as possible. All right? Um, and until such time, we say Shalom once again, Ras Tefari. Your brother Wendem Yadon. Shalom.